Welcome to Some Guy News. Beer Badly, episode 50-something, because I forgot to check that this was part of the joke. Now I haven't reviewed a beer in a while, and I need to rectify that. Recti- 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 You do realize that no one noticed that until you tried to correct it. I need to fix that. You need to fix something. Today we are reviewing something because I need a beer. What are you chopping? There's nothing there. Today we're trying a brown ale. So the question is, what is a brown ale? There's the short answer, the long answer, and the boring answer. Short answer, it's an ale that's brown. And surprisingly, that will come up later. The long answer is that brown malt was made to make the color of this ale. It happens to have lower alcohol traditionally and a creamy texture, which just makes it very easy to drink. And if you're asking yourself why that's so bad, it's kind of explained in the boring answer. Incoming boring answer! Prepare the fast forward button! Tally ho! It was London born in the 1700s where they started experimenting with brown malt, which made brown ale. Simple as that. The naming convention is actually just what it looked like, which has been a detriment to the brown ales ever since. Just poor marketing. While brown ales have a spectrum of different flavors and styles, there's just two that most people know about, and those two give it a really bad rap. Let me explain. First one I'm going to talk about is the English Mild. English Mild is exactly what the name says. It's made in England, and it's mild. When you want to have a beer to get you ready to go, LET'S GET MILD! is not something you're going to say. When it comes to craft brew, you want something wild, not mild. Arguably the most popular style of brown ale is a nut brown ale. What's the problem with nut brown ales? Nut brown ales have no nuts. Allegedly. They are specifically named nut brown ale because they're chestnut in hue. It just looks that way. That's it. Some people tend to just avoid the hell out of it because it doesn't taste like nuts. Allegedly. The other end of the spectrum, people like me who are allergic to nuts, see the name and go, eh, don't want to die. Not today. So these things are literally just making themselves unpopular due to branding. I don't care if it's a 200 plus year old beer style. Even black IPAs try to sell themselves as Cascadian Dark Ales. More on that another time. But let's face it, you're here for the beer. So let's just get to it. Bam! Lazy Magnolia. Talk about lazy naming conventions, huh? Southern Pecan Nut Brown Ale. I've already explained exactly how nut brown ales are. All that's left to do is top and throw this in the fucking trash. Can't really blame the breweries, but let's face it. You hear nut brown ale, they're going to put nuts in it. This one's got fucking nuts in it. Pecan. At least this one tried to keep me from dying. But it pisses me off because now I'll never know what it tastes like. I could look up reviews, but my palate's not your palate. Your palate's not the palate of the person who put the review on the internet. What do I have? I got a fucking bottle of stuff I can't try because it wants me to die. I won't you tell me your secret. But the best part is, I'm so fucking stupid. I got three of them. That's how dumb I am. Now I just have these in the fridge taunting me. I just wanted a beer today. I just wanted a beer. Nut brown ales have become a lot more popular thanks to breweries actually wising up with the easiest of ideas and putting nuts into the nut brown ales. From what I'm told, tend to have a very creamy mouthfeel. It still sounds dirty when I say it and gets worse when you say creamy. But it tends to take on the woodiness, sweetness, or other flavors that I can't remember that nuts taste like. Whatever. I don't care. Fine. I'm not upset at all. Let's get another beer then. Bam, it's an Arco Brown. It's a Doppelbach. I'm looking forward to it. But now I'm just drinking in anger. Top. Pop. Nope, oh, can't even fucking do it right. There we go. Awesome. Let's give it a try. Tasty caramel notes. Kind of boozy. Really like it. Arco Brown. Means count or something. I don't freaking remember. All I know, good beer, good time. Four out of five. Three out of five. Two. Let me drink more. Hold on. This beer is good. Might be better because I'm still pissed off at the pecans. Either way, good beer, good time. Raise your glass. Enjoy your buzz. Go fuck yourself. No, that's not fair. It's not someone else's fault that you can't do something. Don't waste your energy on something that's going to piss you off. Just enjoy something else. It'd be a lot easier on life, a lot easier on yourself, if that's what you do. Cheers, everybody. It is a good beer, by the way. It's a good beer.